sometimes you want to have images as an input for your image AI workflow. Not really to edit the image or to add images. No, you want to have the pure description of the image to reproduce it, to add certain contexts, to have other interpretations or variations of your input image. And how can we do this? Well, today in ConfUI, we will do this exactly this with Quen VL and Z Image Turbo in a pure open source and um, workflow using ConfUI. So, without further ado, I would suggest you turn on ConfUI, you sit back and enjoy the, uh, today's tutorial on image description using VLMs. And here we are in ConfUI, our well known environment to create nice workflows. And the very first thing we need to load is the Quen VL part. Now you need to, of course, install it in the extension, um, in the extension part, uh, in the manager. And we have two nodes here, Quen VL and Quen VL Advanced. Advanced allows you to adjust more settings for the uh, language model. I would suggest to skip this for now and use the rather, let's say, basic simple node. We have here different model names available. I will take the 4B instruct because I already downloaded it. And if you choose any model, um, the extension is pretty smart and will download it automatically. So if you are a little bit concerned that it takes some time, go always here to the console. There you see a download progress bar so that you know, okay, something is happening in the background. I would suggest we go to 4B and then I can go to the add 8-bit quantization. We leave the attention mode as auto. We have here different presets. I would suggest to leave it with the detailed description. Maximum tokens we can increase to 1024 and then we need something very important. We need an image. And for this, uh, I would also suggest to fix the seed because uh, we want to have um, prompts that are reproducible and then we need to load an image. And I took an image from Wikipedia about of the Sydney Opera House. One of my favorite buildings, by the way. No, my favorite building in the world, to be very honest. Anyway, if we describe it as a human being, we would say, yeah, Sydney Opera House, side view, probably from the Harbour Bridge with the uh, with a partially cloudy sky, nice weather, a ferry in the foreground and some other sailboats in the background. Pretty nice. Now, what we can do, we load it here. We go now to the response and take the show text utility from the ComfyUI costume scripts where we can simply look at the show text part. We can then click on run. And as I already said in the very first time, it takes some time to download the entire model. Now, in our case here, it is already downloaded and the model is running in the background. Now, you see here also now the real time progress because, uh, yeah, I don't have now an H100 or so at home. I have an NVIDIA 4090 and you should really get an impression how fast or slow, depending on your definition, this thing is. Now, here we are, a very long and detailed prompt. And this is pretty cool because you don't have to do any prompt engineering or so, because now you have a lot of information you can work with, for example, that you put into Z Image Turbo, like under a partially cloudy sky with soft white clouds scattered across and so on and so on with the Sydney Opera House, a small ferry glides in the foreground and so on and so forth. So what you can do now are two things or even several things. Copy paste it into Z Image Turbo make a regex expression, like for example, replace certain words, like for example, Sydney Opera House, uh, replacing it by something else or adding a color. Or what you could also do is take another large language model to re-describe the prompt into something you would like to have. What I will simply do is we think simply take this prompt as an input for that image turbo. And for this, we need to do something we always do in the last, um, we, we did in the last sections, last videos, we need to get the Z image turbo workflow. And I don't know who of you is joining this channel for the very first time. So I would always suggest to, um, yeah, my, my, my idea is to really recreate the flow all the time. We have the load diffusion part first, and then we need the aura flow sampling flow with a value of three. As I also said in my previous videos, I'm still not hundred percent sure whether we need this or not. Now load clip part here, we need the clip model that corresponds to a Z image turbo. It's basically Quen 3, uh, 4B. So which corresponds to the, which is like the sister of this part, so to speak, and put it to Lumina 2. And also we need to load a variational auto encoder. Namely here we have the AE.save tensors. We need now a prompt. And the prompt is now the, here the clip, clip tab, text and code. But the text here should be this text. So what we can do, and this is the cool thing, 
um, that Comfy is pretty smart, we simply drag this here and put it where the text field is so we don't have, we can't now write anything here because, because it's being replaced but by the input of Quen VL. We need a case sampler as always. The case sampler, we take the simple one, we connect to the model part and also the positive conditioning. The negative conditioning is the one where we have the zero conditioning because we don't have a negative prompt uh, in that image turbo connected here. So everything is like canceled out. And the latent image, we can even, for example, derive the de resolution by our input image or for example, have our own resolution. Empty as the three latent space we take. And then I would say width and height. Let's take the width maybe at 2280. So we don't have this square format as always. And then afterwards we go from the latent image, we take the decoder, the VAE needs to be connected. And then afterwards we can simply go here from the image and take the save image node and run this again. Now everything needs to be loaded. The text is already being created. The seat is fixed. So we don't have to change anything or rerun Quen VL. I mean, there would probably be only some other partially other changes. You see also here, I made a small mistake. I have to make a short break because we have the step size of eight or nine in turbo and the CFG of one. These things happen if you are sometimes a little bit too fast creating workflows. Now this should be way faster now with nine steps. And we have now our, hopefully our result that looks like the Sydney Opera House. And there we are. Looks pretty nice to me. We have the small ferry here in the foreground. Um, the ferry, let's see. The ferry looks almost similar to the ferry here. So uh, I don't know how it is described. Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 distant boats. So the ferry is not described in detail, which means that in the training data, we have probably the same ferry as we have here on Wikipedia. Well, maybe this is a common ferry there. Maybe the ferry company uh, have, has only boats that look like that. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see that um, even the ferry looks similar. And just for you to know that this image has been just created by the prompt, not based on the image, right? The input, the image is not the input. We didn't do anything with that. We simply took the text prompt. And now the thing is you can now use, for example, the path we showed, I showed you last time, the seed variants, the detail daemon, for example, you can make a ultra big workflow with these things to really have a nice sophisticated workflow using Z image turbo and the world of Quen in a one single workflow. We'll do this and then not in the next video. In the next video, we will show you something else, a very nice upscaler because with all the building blocks we have there, we can then create our ultra Z image turbo workflow. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the free time and the holidays and see you. Um, is this correct? Yeah. See you next year. Cheers.